welcome to today's video. So this is basically, just turn this down. This is basically the update on the 3V29. Excuse the flicker. Um, it's working, but as you can see, there is some uh, noise on the picture. So not every frame, but um, it is happening every couple of seconds or so. So I need to investigate that a little bit further. Um, it's very likely to do with something along the tape path that I would need to look at. Um, not 100% certain what it is at this stage, but it is something that we will investigate. However, everything else is working. Uh, pause is actually pretty good, to be honest. Not much noise on pause. Um, fast forward search is fine, rewind search is equally as fine but the problem we have is with those rolling noise bars and if I try and adjust it out on the tracking it doesn't seem to <clears throat> it works for a bit, but then, yeah, it just keeps happening. So it might be, it could be, yeah, I do think it's something to do with the tape path. So it's possible that the tape is moving um, sort of slightly up and down like that and causing this slight disturbance. The thing is, if I put the sound up, there's no audio warbling. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to take the cover off and have a look at the um, both of the posts. So the post on this side, which is the tape going onto the head, which would be the top of the picture, and the post on this side, which is going to be the bottom of the picture, so the tape coming off the video head. What I could also do is try another tape. I mean, it is quite possible it could be a tape issue. Um, as it stands at the minute, it seems to have... Uh, that's weird. It does seem to have sort of settled itself down a little bit. Okay, doesn't seem to be doing it now, so... Oh no, hang on. Ever so slightly. Adjust to that with the tracking. Yeah, I do think that's a tape path issue. So, you could do it by hand, by playing the cassette and adjusting the post on this side to get rid of the noise at the top of the picture, and the post on that side to get rid of the noise at the bottom of the picture. Um... But people say that you ideally need to use an oscilloscope to do it. You would also ideally need a test cassette as well. Um, a proper test cassette. However, you can kind of get it almost correct using um, a normal, known, good working cassette. In fact, let's actually try a different cassette. So I'll just stop this one. and eject. Let's pop that to one side. Go on to my shelf of many things. I've got a copy of Tango and Cash starring Sylvester Stallone and Kurt Russell. The many, many things. The many things. The plugs of much hatred. So, these plugs, um, I've taken them off of various things that I've repaired. Uh, not because that they're not serviceable or anything, but because I just rather like them. And if I'm ever selling the item, I don't want to really sort of let these an interesting plug go with it. So these are perfectly usable for the future. So I may reuse them at some point. But... Um, People don't seem to like you taking plugs off of period items and putting on newer plugs, but 
you know, it's my choice. And it's not like I'm throwing them away. So, yeah, there you go. There are bigger things to worry about in life. Anyway, so let's get this plugged in. Hit play. And let's fast forward it on to some kind of picture. A trailer would be perfect. This will do. And let's see if the problem... Yeah, so the problem's repeating itself on this cassette as well. Actually seems worse on this cassette. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if the sound is a bit off. No, sound is absolutely fine. Okay, let's see what I can do about this. Oh, very quickly, before I uh, start taking the machine apart. He is driving one of my all-time favourite American convertibles. Uh, a Cadillac Alante. There it is, look at that. What a stunning car. A lot of people will say, Oh, God, no, that's horrible. Oh, but, you know... It sort of really embodies the 1980s really well. It's a good looking car. And also that's doing some interesting things with the cassette. I think I may have found my problem. The problem isn't with the tape path. I think the problem is with the... The wheel... Oh, the idler driving the spool. It's not driving it in a uniform way, so tape tension isn't being maintained. That's why we have the problem. So, I'm not going to touch that today, but at least we found the issue. It was uh, admiring that Cadillac Alante that allowed me to come to this realisation. So, it's always been, since I've had the machine, a little bit fluttery, but... Um, Never this bad, so I think that is actually the issue. Also seems to have clogged up heads as well, which is annoying, so let's just try and pause that. Play. Fast forward search. Rewind search. And see if I can do a budget self-clear of the heads. I wonder if the sound is still there. No, it's lost audio signal as well. So I need to give the heads a clean. Apart from that, it's actually working okay. So, just a few little things. The idler I was actually going to replace, but um, I thought, oh no, it'd be okay because it seems to be working, but obviously it's not maintaining um, enough tension, which may be causing that wobbly picture. However, I would have thought because you got the audio heads and control heads after the video head, if it wasn't going to maintain tension, it would have upset the audio as well. Interesting. However, on the whole, I would call this a bit of a win. We've managed to certainly rejuvenate it. It's actually doing better than it was. Although that picture is still dead. So we'll try another tape again and see if it comes back. But certainly for this, for the moment, that's all we're going to be doing with this one. Um, hope you've actually got something out of this. If you have... Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you again very soon. Take care and thanks for watching. Quick update. It's still rolling, albeit slower, but the picture's been restored. There's no warbling on the audio, but I wonder if it needs a further setup than just the tape posts and position of the audio control head. Um, I wonder if there's a slight uh, fluctuation in the capstan speed. 
Um, ultimately, it's going to take a bit more troubleshooting, but the main thing is it does seem to be core deck functions do seem to be working and it at least plays back a picture, so it's not urgent to get it working. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching and take care. Don't forget to subscribe.